Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry, um, I don't even think an excuse will cover this, however my life has been sort of taken over with hospitals and things because my brother has actually had um, an accident at the end of January, <laughs> funnily enough when I thought I was going to be videoing, filming this video, um, but it's caused him to have double knee surgery and now be bed bound for the next god knows how long. So. Um, my life has been slightly hectic, <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I thought I'd come back today, all guns blazing as everything is sort of at a plateau, um, and show you guys a what's in my bag and also a review on my Mulberry Bays water. So here we go, let's give it a go. Okay, so as you guys should know by now, I hope you do, this is my Bays water. It's a Mulberry Bays water in the Darwin leather in oak with the brass hardware, so as you can see. And yeah, I bought this bag in November and any of my followers should know that I put the bag away because it was meant to be a Christmas present to myself. So I put it away until Christmas Day where I opened it and that was the day that I started to use it and the day that I um, have been using it since I've... What am I trying to say? I've been using it ever since Christmas Day pretty much. Um, so that is just about three months, maybe two and a half months and I'm really, really impressed. I use this bag and the reason I bought it is because I wanted a bigger bag so that I could use it for work and everyday use. I use this bag for work, I go out for meals with it. Um, I don't go out clubbing with it, it's a bit big for that, but um, I go out shopping and everything. So it's a really versatile bag and I'm loving it actually so far. So I thought I would show you guys how it's um, stood the test of time so far. Um, and yeah, and then show you what I keep inside it. I don't know if I have many, I think I do, most of my um, subscribers are British and if you are then you know we've had a horrendous winter. It has been rain, 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 rain and a little bit more rain. So this bag has really, you know, stood stood the test of time as far as um, rain staining or rain splatter because I have got none. As you can see, it's pretty good. The only thing that um, I guess is a downside to this bag is that it scratches quite quickly. You might be able to see at the top here, I have a few um, just surface scratches on the colour there. And that is because at work I ugh, sort of have two halves to my job and um, one half of the job is that I have to have my bag into a locker and obviously pushing it in and pushing it out of the locker a couple of times a day scratches it. And every time it happens I'm like, oh please, no. But it happens and I just have to get on with it because I'm not overly precious about it. Although it was an expensive bag, I wanted it to be an everyday bag so I knew this was going to happen. Um, notes for any of you perfectionists out there. The most worn things are going to be the edges. Mine have scuffed slightly, I don't know if you can see, just on the corner of the piping here. But as far as the bottom of the bag, that stood out really well and um, the feet don't have any, they have a bit of rubbing off as far as the colour of the brass is concerned but they're really good considering that they're used all the time. I will just say that the, as I showed earlier, the metalware there, the brassware is absolutely perfect, no scratches. Scratches on the leather but not on the brass, so that's pretty darn good. Um, a bit of an overview, this bag retails in 2014 at £895, ouch, I know. Um, but I got mine on a staff discount day, so where I work, so um, I paid less. I'm not going to say how much, hope that's okay, but I paid less for my bag. I know it's an extortionate amount of money and a lot of people have already said that I could have helped world hunger and things with this bag, but it's something that I've wanted for such a long time and it was something that I treated myself to um, in celebration of a good, lit good year last year. I graduated, got my first full-time job, I did alright, so you have to have treats in life. As far as the inside of the bag, wham bam, that is it. Um, at the front, on the front side there are two buckles to extend or um, make smaller the side pleats. I've kept mine as I bought them on the second to smallest hole because I quite like the structured look of the bag when they're done. Something that I did discover with this bag pretty quickly is that the main compartment, which is this area here, is massive. You pop your phone in there and you'll lose it for about 10 weeks. <laughs> you'll never get it back. And so that was really irritating to me and I suddenly thought, oh God, what have I done? I've bought a bag that I find irritating to use. This isn't too great. But then I had a sudden brainwave, not even joking, at three o'clock in the morning. Why don't I undo the back zip pocket and use that as um, sort of a necessity 
drawer and I do I use that all the time although my back pocket has two pockets on the front there they're not overly deep and they're not that easy to store anything in so I never really ended up using them but I use this back pocket all the time basically I love this bag there are a few cons to it which I guess I'll go through now the con the main con is the big massive bucket if you don't carry an awful lot don't go for this bag because you're going to hate that the fact that the three things that you carry are going to be at separate corners of this bag it's going to be too big um, if you can live with the with using the zip pocket as another pocket then that's a brilliant um, little tip that I will give to you so enjoy Another con is this little tag, which I actually noticed that some people take off, and I, I realise why now. If this little luggage tag gets stuck inside the bag, like so, and you try and shut your bag, it's very hard to close the clasp to. And also, your little flaps don't always lie very flat, although they did this time, obviously, because I'm trying to show that they won't fly straight, won't lie straight, but they are this time. But otherwise, it's a pretty amazing bag. It's really lasted well for me so far and I'm really pleased with it. It's something that I'm going to be keeping forever and ever. It does scratch and I think I have shown you and told you about that. So if you do like a perfect bag and you like them never to look worn, I don't think the oak is going to be for you. Maybe choose a gloss covered leather or the black or the brown, the chocolate coloured because it's just, I think the dye on the tan is just, it's just a little bit more sensitive but otherwise you know I'm so happy I made the purchase and I'm so glad it's mine so I guess I'll go into my what's in my bag because then you guys can see what I carry around on an everyday basis um, it does vary I do sometimes have my lunch in here um, and I do sometimes have shopping or a water bottle but this is just what I have in at the moment in time it's going to be pretty boring I can already promise you that so in this um, main zip pocket at the back here I carry my phone, which is an iPhone 4S. Oh, with my supervisor telling me it's going to be a fire alarm on Monday. Um, my sunglasses, which are Ray Ban wafers in the tortoise shell. I have those with me all the time, whether it's raining or not, because I generally like to have them with me if I'm going in my car, because it will always be sunny whenever I'm driving and I'll need them. That's just sort of sun store. My house keys with its very own little mulberry keyring there. That is the heritage keyring in tan. I also, like a lot of people, I carry around the authenticity um, cards, which I probably shouldn't because they get completely battered. You probably can't see that, it's a bit washed out. They get all battered and different, discoloured. But um, yeah, I might take those out actually. But I generally keep them because I don't want to lose them and. I'm a bit of a loser. I, I lose. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I am, but no. I'm generally quite good at keeping things, but I know important things. I'll put them somewhere really safe, and then I will lose them. I have a post-it note to tell me where to buy um, a protection sort of like glove for casts, because my brother's in a full leg cast from uh, top of the thigh to bottom of the toes, and he will be in that for a few weeks. So my lady that I job share with, she sent me a link or she get, wrote down a link for a website that I can buy them from. I have a lipstick from Natural Collection in Pink Blossom which is just a really sort of nude pretty colour it, and Natural Collection is so cheap it's about $1.99 for lipstick. Mad. I have a receipt from Marks and Spencer. I bought some popcorn and a birthday card. I have two safety pins another safety pin and a hair clip and as well as that I also have a receipt with a number on I don't know whose number but a number anyway okay now for the little pockets in front of my zip pocket I have got my phone battery charger battery boost thing and basically you charge it up with your normal phone charger and then if your phone runs out of battery you can pop that in and it will charge it I think 33% extra than what it usually has and I've got nothing else in my other pocket that was a bit boring sorry I have a massive notebook full of loads of sheets of paper and this is for my sort of admin side of my job 
you need these notes, believe me, if you do my job, it's like, hang on, what did I do last time? And always refer back. So I carry this book with me all the time, every day, unless obviously it's a weekend or I'm not at work. Um, but yeah, that is a must. I have an envelope with my new contract in it that I need to sign. I have my diary with my paychecks in there. Uh, it's a Liberty Diary, it's really lovely, it's from WH Smith, if anybody is wondering. I have a pug a cup bag pug. and in here it's probably not an awful lot of interesting things I have a collection well it's just collection is a collection um, everlasting concealer in medium number three a little mini torch with no battery and a miniature little purse spray from next which I had oh my god I don't know quite a while but it's good just to have I like to have it just in my bag in case I have a fragrance emergency because you never know when they're gonna happen. I've got a permanent marker pen, a MAC lipstick in doo -doo -doo, creme de nude, which is not going to focus on, is it? Are you gonna focus on it now? Which is just a lovely nude, very similar actually to the peach, uh, peach blossom, apple blossom, whatever the other lipstick is, but I got this recently and I'm really enjoying it. It's very moisturizing. I have a Greek phrase book. It has been on my bucket list for many, many a year to learn Greek. Um, and it's going to take a while, but I'm going to try and read this on my lunch breaks so I can have a head start. <laughs> Galimera. That's pretty much all I know. <laughs> I have a pen. I have my purse, which I'm a bit washed out, sorry. Um, which I have done a review on on my channel before. It's a mulberry um, French purse or a trifold if you got it back in the day when I got mine in oak and in there I have a load of cards, a load of receipts and cards and then not an awful lot of money. Um, I have a miniature pug zip purse and in here it's like sort of a mini emergency kit. I don't know if you can gander. I've got Lemsips, Paracetamol, Ibuprofen, the KFC sort of um, hand wipes because they're like little wet wipes, they're brilliant to have with you, hair clips, pony um, hair bands, plasters and a tampon. Brilliant little thing that I have with me all the time as well. A miniature pot of jam which is from the Tip Tree Jam Company which is actually pretty close to where I live now. It's strawberry jam. A ketchup from McDonald's. Two bits of a broken pen. A torch. Some leather gloves that match my bag and my purse. Headphones for my iPhone and an iPod with no battery on it. An original chapstick, a scandalized retro glam mascara and a broken zebra pen. The other parts of that broken pen. Oh lord, a spring. A spring and some things from the broken pens. And about 10,000 receipts. And a tissue. I've got a receipt for the Chinese I had yesterday. Another Marks and Spencer's receipt for popcorn, Percy Pigs, and um, Colin the like sort of gummy sweets, the caterpillar. A bus receipt. A super drug receipt for mango iced tea and milky bar buttons. A Sainsbury's petrol receipt, a plaster wrapper, another bus receipt, and that is pretty much it. <laughs> um, yeah, so all in all, I hope I have inspired some of you guys to go and have a look at some Mulberry things. Don't be scared to go and try them on. I did it so many times before I bought this bag. But um, yeah, it was a really good decision and worth saving up for 10,000 years for. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to pop in some modelling shots at the end so you guys can see what it looks like on me. 
but I hope you liked my video. Please rate, subscribe, and request me some videos. I'm back in the game, and hopefully we'll be doing this more frequently. Lovely to see you guys, and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye. Okay, and like I said, I would do a modelling shot. I'm sorry about my split mirror. It's really helpful in these sort of times. Let me just shut this part of my door. So this is me a lovely bag on my hand. This is my bag, um, and you can hold it, obviously, straight down like so, which is pretty darn cute. On the crook of your arm, which is generally how I like to carry my bag, or you can actually carry it on your shoulder, like so, as long as you don't mind, as long as you don't wear a kind of really big fluffy jumper, otherwise sometimes it will slip off your arm. Just for reference, I am five foot three and about, I've got no idea actually, <laughs> I'm about nine and a half stone in English, um, in metric countings, I'm sorry I don't know that in pounds, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, I'll speak to you guys soon, bye!